Today I'm going to make mozzarella cheese and I'm using this kit I've bought. I have no idea what it's going to be like. I've never made cheese ever. Ready in less than a day, just add milk, beginners. This kit makes 13 pounds of cheese. Thought it sounded like a good idea. And as I've never made anything remotely like cheese before, I needed to get the basics in. This kit comes with a cheesecloth, quite a big cheesecloth. I guess that's to drain the, the curds on the way. It also comes with a nice sturdy temperature gauge, which hopefully it's in Fahrenheit and centigrade. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> a ricotta pot and colander. Vegetarian rennet tablets. This is a new world to me. Um, what's this? Calcium chloride. Sterilize your equipment. Yeah, that's very handy. Also comes with citric acid. Artisan salt. Whoa, little pipette. So the pipette is to measure the calcium chloride with. So that's everything in the box. What's in here? Not available in the USA. Why is that? That's interesting. I've made up my own little instructions from their instructions. So I'm gonna start with this to make it all a bit easier. There's just so many different variables in this. There's so many things that you have to do. I just wanted to make sure I did them all correctly. There's a lot of temperature changes in the way that you warm your milk and stuff like that. Some blue cat milk. So I need to make sure I've got a large pot, a long blade knife, draining spoon, thermometer, cheesecloth, rubber gloves, and a colander. I'll get those bits now. I've added the milk, two liters of whole milk into the pan. I'm now going to put the thermometer into the pan. Oh, I've been taking that bit off. Okay, that bit comes off. Turn to the stove on. So it's supposed to go up to 13 degrees. I've only just turned it on and it's 15. Don't overheat your milk even before you start doing this. So I'm gonna have to wait now. I don't know how long to get this back down update. I've had this milk in the fridge for ages and the thermometer just has not moved off 20. So I'm gonna cook at 20 regardless now. Um, otherwise I'll just like give up. So I'm using two liters. So I'm using one millimeter of calcium chloride and one teaspoon of citric acid. I'm now going to put in calcium chloride. Okay, so I've got a pipette of calcium chloride. Right, put this in. At this point, before I heat the milk, I need to get the rennet into a liquid form because I've got to stir it in. This is one teaspoon of citric acid dissolved in 32 millilitres of cooled boiled water. So I'm going to just dissolve the rennet now before I start heating the milk up. Ooh. Sort of happened much quicker than I thought. That's good. It's gonna take ages to dissolve. Got that ready now. I'm so gonna keep an eye on this thing. Gotta to get to 32, 33 degrees, and then then I add the rennet. Okay, that just took another 30 seconds to get to 32 degrees, and there's like strange stuff on my spoon. I'm gonna pour in the rennet now, like it says, and stir. And just hope that this works, because everything so far really hasn't gone to plan so i'm stirring it in and then leave to set for um, five to thirty minutes depending how long it takes to set so so i wanted to be sure i still don't know because i haven't done it yet but i'm now about to cut the curds into squares not sure oh that looks Looks all right. Okay. 
I need to heat the curds and stir it to 40 degrees. Gently stirring. I'm not sure if it's supposed to look like this, but it looks okay, I think. All right, I'm hitting 40 degrees, so I'm going to turn it off. It looks like goo. Does that look like hot and springy to touch? I'm really not sure if this is supposed to look like this. Anyway, um, I must move on to the next stage. Transfer them to a cheesecloth and drain in the colander. Right, I'm going to transfer these now. I have my colander and I have my cheesecloth. So I'm going to do that now. I've drained the, the curds now into the cheesecloth and I'm left with this. So I'll put this in here. I have no idea if this looks like what it should look like. So I'm just gonna rinse off more of the whey. Then I'm going to do the microwave thing where I put it in the microwave for a minute and then squeeze out more of the whey. So I'm going to do that now. So this is very hot. So I'm using a glove now to drain all of the whey away. <laughs> so that's been in for a minute. I'm gonna drain that off and then I'm going to repeat once I've drained that off. I'm going to put it in the microwave for another 35 seconds. Right, so I've done that. I've microwaved it twice for 35 seconds. I'm just gonna add a bit of salt. And then I need to mix that in. Oh dear. I'm not sure how to, how to do this either. And it's not as white as I thought it was supposed to be. Creamy colored. It's so hot. Uh, I'm going to try and, I think it's getting there. As soon as I took off my glove and started doing it with my hand for just a few seconds, I got this and I'm, I can't believe it. I can't believe I've created this. I don't know what it's going to taste like. It's quite warm, but I'm not going to put it in. Um, it does say in here to put it in iced water. I'm going to just cut a little bit off to try it. And then I'm going to put cling film on it or plastic wrap. And I'm going to put it in an airtight container and put it in the fridge overnight. Ready for my pizza. Yeah. So two liters makes this size piece of mozzarella. Mmm, like a mozzarella stick. Mmm. Wrap it up, wrapped it up in plastic wrap. I'm going to put it in an airtight container overnight in the fridge. And that's it, yummy. Yummy mozzarella. 